Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is not originally how this video was going to start. Uh, this video was originally going to be the second half of the previous video that I filmed, which will be the last video on the channel, where we were doing the uh, landscaping around front. Um, I thought that video was going to be shorter than it ended up being. And I also wasn't sure I liked the way I filmed the outro where it was dark and hard to see. And so after I filmed that, I was like, I'm going to film sort of like a, a different way to end this video. But then through editing, it ended up working out okay. So I just left it. And instead of trying to make a longer video like I sort of intended, I'm just making a whole new video here out of what I had filmed to sort of end the last video. So, but I also wanted to just say uh, thanks to everybody who's watched my videos over the last, I don't know, five or six years that we've been, I've been filming. It started out as just something I kind of wanted to do when I, right when I first got my John boat about five-ish years ago. Um, cause I watch, I don't watch that much television. Um, my wife and I both and some, and my kids, honestly, we watch a lot more YouTube than we do like television, um, movies and stuff like that. And so I'm, you know, sort of inspired and, uh, to, to start trying to make my own videos. Um, so I did <laughs> and I was doing it with a much worse camera back then and they weren't good. They're kind of cringy if you go back and watch them. Uh, but I more or less have stuck with it for the last five years. There have been times where I, it felt like it was just a chore. You know, I wasn't having fun editing and uploading. But very recently, if you have watched my videos for very long, you might have realized that there are now ads on my videos. And that's because I have met all of the criteria set by YouTube to actually have my channel get monetized, which is something that I never felt like was even achievable, honestly, because I watch some fairly big YouTubers who, you know, get hundreds of thousands of views per video, and that's what they do for their career, which is not at all what I do. Um, but I just like filming stuff, fishing or home renovations, or, you know, some of the stuff I did at work, you know, renovations on other people's homes and stuff. and and filming it and having some fun with it. So it's been really, really cool for this last month and a half or so of the channel being monetized and actually getting a little bit of money back instead of just putting, you know, hours and hours and hours of time in to offer all these videos and with no, you know, no real value other than my kids. Like my kids always like watching them. But I feel like my kids are my biggest fans. They'll, they'll just sit there and watch my videos for hours if I let them which is kind of funny. But I know there's a lot of people that, probably a lot of different people that watch my videos. A lot of people are here from the the big seven part deck build series that we did, the covered deck a few years ago. That was what kind of helped my channel take off, I think. And so if you're, you know, somebody who found the channel through those, those videos and you've stuck around, thanks. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you're still entertained by some of the stuff we're doing these days. Um, it's kind of a hodgepodge. I haven't done a lot of fishing videos. I don't think I did any fishing videos last year, but more home renovation stuff since we moved into this new house um, about a year and a half ago. So those are always going to be happening because we're always doing something, some sort of project around the house. We'll probably never stop doing home renovation projects. Oh, and I have plans for other things, like other types of content, I guess you, if you will. I'm down in my basement right now, and I have my drum set over here partially set up, but I haven't played it in a while. And I've thought at some point I might try to start doing some drum covers and put them on here, because I've, I've played drums for most of my life, and play in the worship team at my church, and I just, I enjoy drumming, but drum covers is something I've never really gotten into. But I do all kinds of stuff. It's, I don't stick to just one type of content. I'm not just a woodworker or just renovations. Like I have a family and sometimes we just go do fun things and I film it and you know, as much for myself and my family to, to watch as for people, anybody else who might find it interesting. So all that being said, thank you to everyone who has been watching these videos and continues to watch them because it's it's really cool to see how far the channel has come in the last five years and and hopefully you guys still find the videos interesting so all that being said here is what was filmed as the ending for the last video and will now be you know 
most of what this video is. Uh, I did get a haircut, uh, if you couldn't tell, in between what you saw the last video and this current video. So you're about to warp back to uh, a little bit bigger beard and much, much longer hair, uh, Taylor, in, uh, of past days. So enjoy and thanks again. All right, now that we've got the fence all done, need to eventually start cleaning up the hillside here. I like having all the rocks on it, but I need to kind of pull out some of the bigger plants and then spray some, some weed killer probably on the hillside. But this is the other issue which I have yet to solve. So every time it rains, all these pine needles and gravel and stuff wash down the road, down the edge of our driveway, and do this. And it's a lot of water because it moves some fairly big, uh, like rocks that big. All these big pieces of gravel, those are those got washed onto the driveway and then it just kind of collects and does this mess and right now it's piling up here because there were some roots and bushes and stuff that were overgrown here I had tried a couple times before sort of just trenching out along the edge of the concrete here to try to just direct the water and junk to go down and into the, the culvert under the driveway but it hasn't worked very well it hasn't held up um, as evidenced by how it looks right now so I don't know what to do. I'm open to ideas if anybody has any super clever ideas. Some way of, I don't know, catching all of this and like directing it down here. I don't know if it's, I don't know what to do. Post in the comments if you have any really creative solutions because constantly cleaning this mess up gets kind of old. Maybe it's doing something on this upper section to keep it from ever even going down the first driveway, making it to the lower one. I don't know what the solution is, but something I got to figure out soon. This is an unseasonably warm day. We went to a store yesterday and got some new softball equipment for the girls. They're going to play softball for the first time uh, this spring, I guess. So I also got myself a new used, new used glove because uh, my glove is old and I've had it for, I don't know, probably 15 years. It's in pretty bad shape. So nice. So we're gonna, I'm gonna teach my girls how to play softball in a way. <laughs> At least teach them how to throw and catch. I, I played softball my entire life growing up pretty much. Um, and into adulthood on church teams as well. And I'm also playing this spring on a, on my church team. So yeah, it'll be fun and I get to be, I get to play the, the role of dad in, uh, or be the dad that teaches his girls how to how to play softball until they go start learning from their actual coach. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then we're gonna have a fire later. So that's probably how I'll end up ending this video. We're gonna do a, we're gonna fire up the solo stove for the first time this year, I think, and have some hot dogs and stuff over the fire.
So it's a lovely evening. My wife's eating way healthier than I am. She's eating a salad. Apparently salads are a summer food, and so we're now going to start eating them. I think they're a summer food. I don't want to eat them in the winter time. <laughs> so, tis the season of salads now that it's the middle of March. But, uh, fire is dying down. Yeah. More fire. <laughs> So that'll that'll probably do it for this one. Oh wait, you should just what? You want to tell them why Holly's wearing a splint? Oh, I could. And our princess daughter. <laughs> our princess daughter. Who's where? <laughs> <laughs> sort of dressed as a princess. Who you may notice has a splint on her arm. Do you want to tell everybody why you have a splint on your arm? Yeah, you have a sprained arm. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> yep. She no, tripped no. over her own feet and fell all the way down our, you know, full... 13 steps? St 13, yeah, 13 steps uh, last week. Fortunately, did not uh, well. break anything. She seems to have sprained her wrist or an arm a little bit. So, got a brace on for a few weeks. Night. So, she, she might miss the first couple weeks of softball, I think. But, uh... We've been out here practicing a little bit. The girls are throwing a, throwing a ball and trying to learn how to catch it in a glove, which is kind of the, you know, most important thing for, one of the most important things for playing softball. So, that ought to do it for us tonight. We're gonna enjoy the lovely weather for a little bit longer and, and call it a night. Bye. See you guys next time. No, 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 no.